It improves immunity, decreases diarrhea, and it can reduce symptoms of Crohn. It's fantastic for controlling Helicobacter pylori. It balances Th1 and Th2 immunity, preventing or reducing atopic dermatitis, asthma, and allergic rhinitis. I want to teach you something extraordinary about our little friends that you'll never forget. Each probiotic has its own abilities and superpowers. They are not all the same, nor they are good for the same things. Some help regulate the gut, others strengthen immunity and prevent allergies. Some probiotic neutralize toxins, produce weapons against virus, and others are especially good fighting super dangerous bacteria that can kill us. There are even bacteria that can help us not to get fat. My name is André Dourado, I'm an integrative health expert from Portugal. But first, let's understand their names to stop being scammed. In science, we write the name of the species in Latin and usually they have two names. For instance, we humans are Homo sapiens and lions are Panthera leo. Bacteria and fungi multiply so quickly that they can generate new beings, slightly different, but not enough to be a new species. They are strains. For example, Lactobacillus acidophilus, a very common probiotic bacteria, can have many variants, such as the strain Lactobacillus acidophilus Heli5. Heli5 is a strain and may have totally different beneficial properties than other strains of Lactobacillus acidophilus. We cannot patent a species, at least in most evolved countries, because they belong to the planet Earth. But a strain can be patented. Don't ask me why. A lab that discover and register a strain retained the patent for 20 years. Thus, we must be very careful when buying white-label probiotics. They might not be the same unless the probiotic bacteria is over 20 years old and has lost its patent, whether it's a probiotic in capsules or yogurt. That's why Nestle paid millions to be able to use BioGaia probiotic bacteria in their products. If all Lactobacillus rotary were the same, why pay a fortune? Both are genus or groups of probiotic bacteria, but they live in different places. Lactobacillus live mostly in the mouth, stomach, small intestine and vagina, while bifidobacteria prefer to live in the colon but can be found in other places. Lactobacillus in excess can cause discomfort such as gas. Bifidobacteria tend to be more peaceful and innocuous. In both groups, there are bacteria that train our immune system produce antibiotics and antivirals and protect us from opportunistic bacteria. You might not know, but our immune system is trained by these bacteria. That's why the gut is the core of our immunity. Rook immune cells move to the gut where they will become one day very good soldiers. And our little friends play a very important role here. Well, there are many groups of probiotics, but these two are the most studied. Let's see now some famous probiotics in science. Minoru Shirota, a Japanese scientist almost a hundred years ago, discovered this bacteria that is the basis of Yakult. This case resists to stomach acid and balanced intestinal flora. It improves the response of our immune system against virus and bacteria and prevents intestinal disorders. This strain of Lactobacillus case was discovered by Danone and renamed with a more commercial name of l case Immunity or l case Defenses and sold as Actimel. Studies have shown that it improves immunity, decreases diarrhea, and it can reduce symptoms of Crohn, an inflammatory bowel disease. This strain of Heuteri, it has a patent of a Swedish lab, BioGaia, 
and has been shown to reduce gas and colic in babies. It also seems to help in rotavirus diarrhea, atopic dermatitis and urinary tract infections. Well, if you have any question, please write me in the comments below. It looks the same, but it's not. This strain of rotary is fantastic for controlling Helicobacter pylori, the bacteria associated with stomach cancer. Who's better to fight a bacteria than another bacteria, isn't it? Well, this strain doesn't kill pylori, but it sticks to it and spells it out of our body. And it's sold under the name of Pylopass. This bacteria is amazing for its properties and amount of studies it has. It already lost its patent, so it can be sold or marketed by other name than GG. This bacteria helps to prevent and treat diarrhea caused by rotavirus, Clostridium, a very difficult bacteria to beat, and other causes. It balances Th1 and Th2 immunity, preventing or reducing atopic dermatitis, asthma, and allergic rhinitis. In this study, the researchers concluded that it was effective in preventing these diseases in high-risk children. GG is also one of the best bacteria adhering to our gut. And this is very important because most bacteria, or most probiotic bacteria, have very difficult or low ability to adhere, to hold to our, to our gut and implement their long-term benefits. And that's why many people can get worse again after stopping taking probiotics. The real name is Bifidobacterium animalis, subspecies lactis, but it's also known by BB12. It's more cute. It's the most studied probiotic bacteria in the world with 400 studies, half of them in humans. It's considered safe with any, any side effects and they help to regulate the intestine, strengthen immunity, reduce episodes of respiratory problems, reduce dermatitis and even lower cholesterol. They are great sergeants, teach, teaching and training our rookies uh, to fight back bacteria, but also warning of imminent danger. Also called Saccharomyces cerevisiae, CBS, 5926, it was discovered more than 100 years ago in Asia by the French researcher Henri Bollard when he was looking for the reason why the Chinese treat diarrhea with lychee extract. Saccharomyces boulardi, its cousin from the Bruises, used it to make bread or beer but with superpowers. It's a probiotic yeast, not a bacteria, and it's like a special force unit. It's excellent in reducing diarrhea caused by very dangerous bacteria such as Salmonella typhi, which causes typhoid fever, Clostridium difficile and Vibrio cholera, which causes cholera. It also helps to maintain the intestinal wall integrity and increase secretory A antibodies, very important for preventing infections. But in immunosuppressed people, it should be avoided because sometimes can cause problems. Many probiotics should only be used by people with some immunity. People hospitalized for a long time or undergoing chemotherapy generally have low immunity and should be careful avoiding probiotics. Bifidobacteria is always safer to use. Listen, we can't live without bacteria. It's a fact. This is their planet. They arrive before us and they will leave this planet after us for sure. We be extinct first. Either we live with a lot of good ones or with a lot of bad ones. Living without bacteria is not an option. When we take antibiotics, we play the Russian roulette. They kill 99% of bacteria. 
so we can recover 